Today we're going to introduce everyone to what's called the CPK model of the human, defined as a molecule, where using what's called the CPK color coding atomic scheme invented in the 1950s and 60s by chemists Robert Corey Linus Pauling and Walter Colton, hence the acronym CPK. We are going to show how the atoms that define a person can be color coded to make an artistic representation of a human, atomically speaking. The model shown here is that of the amino acid proline, comprised of five carbon atoms, one nitrogen atom, shown in blue, two oxygen atoms, shown in red, and nine hydrogen atoms, shown in gray. This model can be scaled up to that of the case of one human or one person defined as a molecule based on the fact that the molecular formula for the human being was first calculated in 2000 by American limnologists Robert Sterner and James Elser and published in their 2002 book Ecological Stoichiometry which shows that among other things species of closely related but differing populations have different or differing carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus ratios. And this is one of the factors that characterizes or distinguishes interspecies groups, chemically or stoichiometrically speaking. The following timeline shows the artistic development of this idea of using the CPK coloring scheme to define humans as molecules, atomically speaking. The first diagram to the left is the 1979 drawing of a molecule man by American sculpture artist Jonathan Borofowski, where the holes represent molecules of a person. Borofowski says he was led into this viewpoint by the view that he was fascinated, in his own words, by this molecule idea, the simple fact that even though we appear to be quite solid, we are in fact composed of a molecular structure which is in itself mostly composed of water and air. Borofowski went on in the decades to follow to build four outdoor sculptures of these molecule men, which are located around the world. The following, for example, is Borofowski's 1998 100-foot-tall molecule man sculpture situated on the Spree River in Berlin. The middle diagram is a 2005 CPK stylized human molecule made by Canadian designer Sean Le Pox for an art exhibit at the University of British Columbia Art Gallery, part of a evolution of man from ape to human diagram. The third depiction on the right is the 2009 CPK-style human molecule representation my made by American illustration artist Chris Gash for a New York Times article on nanoscale walking molecules. Modern, fully rigorous CPK depictions of a human as a human molecule would need to take into account the fact that, according to mass composition tables, a human is a 26-element molecule comprised of 26 functional elements. Subsequently, modern artistic depictions of a human would need to use a 26 color-coded representation of the human as a molecular formula in action in the prophetic 1919 words of American physician George Carey. The following, for example, is the color-coding scheme according to the popular molecular visualizer JMO, showing carbon, in gray, hydrogen white, oxygen red, nitrogen blue, phosphorus orange, sulfur yellow, calcium green, potassium purple, chlorine darker green, sodium purplish, and so on, where each atom is represented by a subscript e to the power of something, for example, carbon to the power of 10 to the 27th, being the representative number of atoms in the human. 
We're going to leave it as a homework assignment for HC 101 students or for chemistry students in the elementary, high school, or college level to draw out and make poster presentations or diagrams using the 26 color coding JMOL scheme as to where each of the specific elements are found in the human or human molecule. An example of this shown to the right, although not color coded, indicating that calcium forms a significant portion of the bone structure of the human. The skin, being a phospholipid bilayer, is comprised primarily of hydrogen and carbon with bits of phosphorus and nitrogen. The brain is primarily a hydrocarbon structure comprised of oleic acid and decahexanoic acid, and so on. More advanced chemistry students will want to incorporate modern aspects of nuclear and quantum theory, such as how electronegativity, valencies, atomic stability, and so on apply to the human defined as a molecule, specifically in regards to human molecular bondings to other humans, such as depicted on the left in the Mr. Carbon Atom outfit of English biotechnologist Mark Jaynes. A follow-up homework assignment for more advanced human chemistry students is to study or investigate how the CPK model of the human extrapolates or carries over into human molecular orbital theory, which is the study of human movement in terms of molecular orbitals or 90% probability regions of a person's location over the surface of the Earth in sped up windows of time, wherein theories such as American anthropologist Edward Hall's 1966 conception of reaction bubbles are used, defined within thermodynamic system orbitals. In this perspective, one needs to study how the 26 elements of a person or human molecule interact with the 92 naturally occurring elements of the surface of the Earth, which in this point of view is defined as catalyst or substrate. These studies can then be carried over into the field of transition state theory, which studies how human molecular orbitals change when people go through significant changes in states of existence, such as starting a new job, falling in love, getting a divorce, making new friendships, and so on, wherein theories of collision theory apply and hybridized molecular orbital theories come into play. In conclusion, a make a CPK style human molecule diagram or poster or video response presentation is suggested to be assigned by chemistry teachers to their students or to be done independently by Human Chemistry 101 subscribers and made into response videos. Our informational links will be provided in the drop menu, such as the following table, which shows each element in the human body listed with its symbol JMOL CPK color, percent mass in the human body, picture of the element, atomic number, and short description of the function in the human body. For all 26 elements in the human molecule. Once a person makes such a diagram or even spends at least an hour working on this, a person will have a better understanding of their definition as an atomic or elemental structure in the context of the bigger picture of the universe. Lastly, to note, many will object to the point of view made in this video, namely that the human is a 26-element molecule governed by the laws of 
chemistry, physics, and thermodynamics, moving about on the surface of the Earth, reactive to other molecules of like energetic regulatory interaction. According to polls, about 43% of people object or deny that they are a molecule. Many will claim or shout reductionism with objections that the atomic, chemical, or molecular point of view of a human negates or leaves out questions such as the mind-body problem, free will, consciousness, the life versus non-life demarcation issue, the question of soul or spirit, as these have been passed down to us through religious teachings. Nevertheless, all of these questions have answers in the context of chemistry, physics, and thermodynamics. A field of study called human molecular science, in which over 121 pioneers of the science have stated their views over the last two centuries, one of which, for instance, American philosopher Robert Persig states in 1991, why should a simple, stable compound of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen struggle for billions of years to organize themselves into a professor of chemistry? What's the motive? All of these thinkers, such as Robert Persig, can be viewed in the HMS Pioneers link in the drop menu, where the inquisitive reader can read through thinkers going back to Empedocles and his chemistry amorphisms, Gene Sales, who pioneered the human molecular theory, Gotha, Schiller, on up to the modern day. And the starting point for all of this is for the reader to sit down and come to grips with the CPK introductory definition of the human 